arguments and what to get. There are so many options. Uh, so I'm struggling with the decision, uh, looking at the reviews and uh, trying to figure it out what, what I would like. Um, you know, if this is very uh, subjective because it's a personal choice and personal decision. So um, I decided that maybe I'm gonna try something different. And I bought this uh, cargo liner, which is by Four Kinds uh, Company, which is basically a, a, a meant for a dog. I do not have a dog right now. Um, I'm planning to have a dog, but at this moment I do not. So I was thinking maybe I can use this instead of buying a Tasmanian or 3D Max or any other cargo mats. I may use this. So I'm gonna show you how it fits and uh, and uh, if it really if it's gonna work. So here we go. I'm gonna unpack it and put it uh, in a car and uh, hopefully you can see uh, how it fits and if it if it's something that is useful for uh, Tesla Model Y owners. This cargo mat has the split so you can make it when you put it on the seats and actually, actually fold the seats. Um, but um, um, it's pretty big. This is an interior, like underside. So it's a little bit kind of a non slippery, uh, rubbery material here. And uh, the top is just, uh, just a waterproof material here on top of this, some kind of polyester or something I'm not sure those uh, two loops there's one loop here and then there's another loop right here they're supposed to go over the headrests on the back seats and so this is um, the sign that goes inside the car and this is the piece that is at the back it has the curtain uh, or whatever you call it something that will eventually you can pull out to protect your bumper. So that's how it is. Let me continue doing installation of this thing. So I'm assuming we'll adjust it here in the back of the car. So it lines up here. And then my seats are already folded down, so I will push it down there. wider than the car so it protects the sides as well. Uh, so here it is um, I guess um, you know it's not meant for Tesla so it is generic uh, liner which just fits Tesla. It's pretty nice in it and um, however there are some drawbacks here um, as uh, you can see first of all this cargo holes that we have those little extra places in they're kind of blocked by this on this side and on this side as well uh, the liner fits nicely and it goes uh, it's long enough so it, uh, it goes over the the edge of the seat so it will protect actually the the headrests of the seats at the back um, but it seems pretty bulky this is uh, extra large size so this is uh, the, the largest that they have um, I spotted this size on purpose because I wanted to make sure that it goes over the seats 
so it will be protecting it. Okay, I'm gonna put the seats up and see how it fits with the seats up. As you see, it's a big mess <laughs> after you pull the seats up because this is definitely way too much of material uh, that those seats uh, that we need here. So these are just uh, uh, things that you put the loops that you put over the seats, and then you can like squeeze it like this. Uh, and these are the zippers if you want to do some splitting. Of this you can adjust those uh, um, how tight are those uh, loops holding but then um, so this would that's how it looks um, after you put the seats up and then if you take the uh, liner here to protect the, the bathroom that's how it's going to be so I'm going to show you guys some. Um, this is how this would uh, look with the liner down as well as the seats up. Well, I think maybe it is useful, but honestly, I feel like it's just too much of material and too much uh, stack things happening here. So I am not 100% sure if I'm going to keep it. Uh, probably not. I think it's just too much. So here are the liners uh, and the seats up. I'm going to uh, pull on the, the buttons to actually put them down and see how, how this is going to work. Uh, so first, uh, let's put this one down. It's being stopped because the, it's not and both do. So as you see, um, you know, you get lots of, lots of, lots of extra material that uh, is just a mess. I think it's gonna be a mess. I put this liner in, as you saw my video. Uh, am I gonna keep it? I don't think so. I feel like it's just too much material and uh, Thing is going to be a huge mess to use it um, as just a protecting material for the cargo space and uh, maybe if you have a dog maybe that would be useful more useful um, and if you like have this dog here at the back most of the time uh, but if you're just uh, using it occasionally to protect the cargo I think this is this is not good I feel like it'd be easier to have almost like a two part, um, one part protecting the cargo area here, and it could be maybe a rubber, like you know, Tasmanians or 3D Max or some other uh, uh, protecting mats, and then have a separate piece that will just go over the seats when they are down. This way, I think uh, it'll be more useful. And, and that material that goes over the seats, it doesn't need, it could be just kind of a, maybe a thinner material and maybe we can, uh, you can basically kind of keep it in a car and if it needed, you pull it up and have this, uh, this, this material, uh, something different, either a regular cargo mat like a Tasmanian or, or 3D Max or maybe buy one of those, they come in a smaller sizes so maybe if we get them in a smaller size, maybe it will fit better and maybe it will uh, actually uh, look better in, in the car. This one is just way too big. So